everybody. Today we'll be doing one of our favorite product videos and this video will be on our favorite harnesses and leashes. Now one of the things that I, or one of my goals for this channel is to bring you guys my favorite products that I have used over the years. I have owned dogs for many years and I've gone through many products. Some have gone into the product graveyard and some have stayed around and are products that I use and love every day. So I would like to share these with you. So the first thing that we are going to um, talk about in our uh, favorite products video is this video of our favorite harnesses and leashes. And these are by a company called The Well-Lived Pet. Now, Deb is the owner of this company and she's a reseller for the manufacturer, but she is absolutely wonderful to work with. Her customer service is second to none. I love that um, she gets back with you right away. She has a Facebook page. She doesn't have a, a business website, but she is always available. You can message her anytime. She gets right back with you. She has a phone number on there. You can call her or she'll call you back. And the thing that I love about her is that anytime you wanna see a harness or a leash combo, she will get that picture up right away. So she takes a picture of it together and she sends you that picture so that you know exactly what it looks like. So on to the products. The first thing we'll talk about is the harnesses. Now these harnesses are made from remnants of designer handbags. So um, companies that make handbags or designer handbags will cut out the handbag and then they'll be left with these smaller pieces that normally would go into a landfill somewhere a landfill somewhere uh, but this company takes those remnants and makes beautiful harnesses out of them so they're all leather and you can see this is one of them here I love the design uh, before we go into exactly uh, the specifications on the harnesses I do want to say that None of my dogs wear collars, and I know that that is a personal preference. Some people love collars, they wanna have them for tags. That's fine, that's great, but in my house, I don't really like mine to wear collars. I'm a little bit afraid of them possibly getting hung up on something. I don't like that they you know, put a strain on their neck if you're, if you're um, using it with a leash, so we use only harnesses. And I absolutely love these harnesses. And one of the reasons why I love them is because they are so buttery soft. I mean, they are just the softest leather that you can imagine. This one here is one of the new ones that we got. It's like a, a copper, it's very shimmery. And I mean, it is just so soft. I mean, you can just ball it up and I mean, how comfortable is that for your pet? Very, very comfortable. So this, um, let me tell you a little bit about the harnesses. So they're all lined with a soft, supple leather. And so that means that they won't chafe our babies or they won't rub against their fur and cause any damage on their fur. Um, I know that there is a company out there that makes a design very, very similar to this, but this is what I have found. Um, that company's harnesses are more expensive than these. They are also lined with suede, so um, that tends to rub up against the fur and cause a little bit of chafing. Uh, they actually, the other company actually sells a liner that is used with the harness to prevent that. But with this company, the Well Lived Pet, you don't have to worry about getting liners. Everything is soft and supple and won't chafe um, because it's very, very, um, soft in the inside as well. So the, another thing that I like about the harness is that it has a pivoting joint. So this, I mean, you can see, um, you could imagine that this is a great thing because as your pet is moving, the harness moves with them so that it doesn't, um, it's not stiff, it's not hard, it actually moves with your pet. This is locked in so that it's not gonna come off. Um, so that's a great feature. It does have a sliding D-ring, so you can put that D-ring wherever you need it to go. Uh, this is all nickel hardware, so they won't tarnish or turn on you. 
and then they come in so many different leathers and they're just it's a fashion statement um i just love them so they have different collections you have a standard collection that has things like croc um, and your solid leathers then they have an exotic collection and that is things like this leather um, leopard print and it actually has hair on the on the harness still or on the leather on the leather and this is from the exotics collection and i love leopard so this is actually harper's harness and you can see that I have her tag hanging here. So when we go out, I just clip a tag to the harness and then that way, if for any chance they would get separated, they do have their tag on the harness. Um, but there are different, like I said, there are different collections. So the prices will vary depending on the collection that you get. And they're not that expensive at all. So I really like that. And then the way that they are measured is, um, or the way they're sized is based on your baby's measurements. So you would measure your pet around the front, and I'll show you Stassi, who again is being lazy. Um, she has a little harness bow on hers right now, so I'm gonna tell you all about that in a minute. But you would measure around the back of their front legs and then I believe around the front of their legs. So in the front of their front legs and in the back of their front legs. And um, Deb can tell you more about that. And I think she has something on her Facebook page to tell you exactly how to measure your pet. Stasi is in a size two and it is all the way on the last or the first. It's all the way on the first hole. So I'm pretty sure that she will stay in a size two um, when she's full grown. And she will be about 10 to 12 pounds when she's full grown. So, and she's about five and a half pounds now and she's in a size two. But it does have a lot of lead way on this strap because it is in the first hole. So, let's put you, just look at the camera. I look at the camera she's lazy when we film okay so um, another great thing about the harnesses is that they have a lifetime guarantee so if anything happens to them at all they will be replaced um, unless they're chewed if your dog chews the harness well then it's not guaranteed but other than that it has a lifetime guarantee so I love that they stand behind their products so let me just show you a few of our harnesses so this one is one of my favorites. It is a baby pink, and it is the, um, it's from the Lux collection. Now the sad thing about this one is that this one is discontinued, but I absolutely love it. It has a pearlescent finish to it, and it has a croc pattern. The next one, which I already showed you, but I'll show you again real quick, is the leopard. I absolutely love this one because I'm a big leopard fan, so anything leopard, I love. It has the hair on it, and I believe this one is from the Exotics Collection. This one is the Real Buttery Soft Copper. This is a new one that just came out. I believe it comes in silver and it comes in gold, um, but I got the copper for Stassi because I thought it would look pretty with her hair. The reason why I like to get so many of them is it's sort of a fashion statement. So we have to match our bows. So when we have pretty bows in, like today we have our pink bow, and then she has her pink croc harness on. So I don't know if you can see it with her fur, but it is there. And then um, I'll show you the leashes in a minute too. Those are super fun. Okay, and then this one, which I love, is the Tiffany Blue. And Tiffany Blue, besides pink, Tiffany Blue is one of my favorite colors. It's the color of my studio here. Um, I have Tiffany Blue and Brown in the studio, so I have to have Tiffany Blue. And this is a patent leather one. Now, the great thing about the patent leathers um, is that they can get wet. So if you have a dog that you like to go and be adventurous with and go in, you know, places where they would get wet, it will not hurt this harness at all. 
it doesn't change the color it doesn't change the shape and all you do is wipe it off and you're ready to go again so this is a great thing about the patent leather the next one which i love nice fun color is the yellow snake and this shows up so pretty um, in per like in person you can't see probably the camera is not picking up the snake pattern but it's just so adorable it's so sunny and fun and it's just a fun fun color to have these are just some of our harnesses i have a little bit of an, of an obsession okay and then this is the red croc i love red i think red looks good on any dog and this is the croc it is a patent leather croc so also this one can get wet if it gets wet um, so that's a great thing about this so i love 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 these harnesses i will leave deb's link below in the description box it is the well-lived pet and i highly highly recommend them another thing that deb sells are the matching leashes now the leashes are, they're called Fabu Leash, and I promise you they are fabulous. They are so much prettier in person than I think it, this will even show. But um, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I am a bling bling person. I love bling. Um, I love fashion and I love bling. So these leashes, when I saw them, I was like, oh, I had to get them. They are right up my alley. Now she does do leashes that will match the leather. So if you're not a bling bling person, you don't really like that kind of stuff, you can get a leash that will match this harness exactly. They just make the leash out of the same leather as the harness and voila, you have a matching leash. Um, however, most of my leashes are the crystal leashes and I will show you those. So the first leash I will show you to go with the red croc is this boutique crystal leash. It has the little crystal beads on them. It has a very nice clamp that clamps onto the D-ring and then the handle is made out of this I don't think this is real leather. It's not real leather, um, but it, it looks really nice. And it has the crystals on the handle. So this is the one that we got to go with the red croc. And then this is the beautiful leash to go with the leopard. And I also got this one that will match the copper so even though it has a leopard handle it will it matches the copper one really well as well um, these leashes i'm telling you you just have to see them in person they are they're just great they're so blingy they're so ritzy when i am walking the dogs with these leashes i really they're not that expensive you would not even believe how inexpensive they are i want to say most of her leashes are around $16. Um, you can get them a little bit fancier and they go up to maybe 25 or so. I'm not, don't quote me on that, but they're not like terribly expensive and the harnesses are very reasonable as well. Um, so I love that as well because then that allows us to get lots of colors. So this leash has, if you can, um, imagine or, or i don't know if this camera is not going to pick up the detail in the leash but it the beads on them have like a leopard print and then in the middle is smaller topaz beads and they are all faceted so they sparkle it's just gorgeous it is weight tested so i'm not exactly sure i think i want to say it's weight tested up to 75 pounds I know that when I checked it out, that was one of my main concerns. I was like, a crystal leash? Like, how strong is that? Because of course, you wanna make sure it's very, very strong. That's very important. But it is tested for a certain weight, and I know for sure that it was way, way over what my dogs weigh. So that's a good thing. It's a, the most important thing, is safety. Now, this particular leash um, has a custom handle on it. So all of the leashes don't come with the custom handles. Some of them I got custom handles with and some of them some of them I did not. But this particular one does have a custom handle. And what that is, is they will take whatever leash you wanna match it with and make the handle out of that leather. So I wanted this to match the leather of the um, leopard one. So we have a leopard handle, but like I said, it also matches the copper one, perfect. 
So I love that about um, the leashes, that they can be customized to kind of, you know, fit your needs. This is called a Lumi leash. And Deb sells all of these at the Well Live Pet. So she will show you pictures and you can get all of the leashes to match any harness that you would like. This leash is unique because, first of all, it's little like pearls. They look like pearls and they have big pearls and small pearls and big pearls and small pearls. And they're, they're pearlescent, so they kind of have that pearly shimmer to them. But the great thing or the unique thing about this leash is that it glows in the dark. So if you are walking at night, your leash, your leash will just glow in the dark so that you're easily seen by um, people in cars and that's a great thing. It's a great safety feature. However, the thing that I love about it is you cannot tell that it is a glow in the dark leash when you're just looking at it. Like I would have never known that this glued in the dark, but it does, it glows in the dark. Uh, this one does have a custom handle and it is made out of the little um, soft pink leather to match her pink leash, her soft pink leashes. So that's what this one looks like. And then, I believe, um, I don't have one with me, but if, you're, if you don't get the custom handle, I believe the handles are like a web. So it's just like a, it would be like a light pink webbing material. And I'm sure you guys know what that looks like. Okay, the next one that we have is the yellow. And this one is to match the yellow snake. So it has the yellow snake handle. And then this one is a little bit bigger. It has bigger beads on it. It's a little bit heavier, but it's still fine for, you know, our pets and we have small pets. Uh, we have, you know, the Shih Tzu and we have a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. So it's perfectly fine. It's not too heavy, but it's just bigger beads. All of the beads are very faceted, so it's very sparkly. And this one, I have the custom handle of the Tiffany Blue Snake. So this is a gorgeous leash as well. Now, another fun thing that we do with our leashes is because they're fluffy and you don't really see a whole lot of the, the harness. Did I say leashes? I meant the, I meant what I like to do with my harnesses, not leashes, is put a bow on them. And because our pets are fluffy, you don't get to see a lot of the harness. On, um, on them. So that is where these precious little harness bows come in. Aren't they adorable? So these bows are made by Angel's Bows and she makes the most beautiful harness bows. And all they do is clip, they have Velcro and you just Velcro the bow around the harness and wow, you have a nice, beautiful, cute little fashion statement on the harness. Angel is also wonderful. She does have a little bit of a wait time because she makes all of the bows by hand, but her quality is awesome. It's ve they're very, very beautiful and it's worth the wait. So I will also leave the link to her shop in the description box below, but it's called Angel's Bows, and I believe Bows is, has a Z on the end, but don't quote me on that. I will definitely leave the link at the bottom. But just to show you a few of our bows, this one, because we love Disney, is our little Minnie Mouse bow. So of course this one goes on the red croc, and it has the red and the black, and it has the little um, Minnie Mouse deco piece in the middle, so we love that. You can see the little Velcro in the back here, and all you do is you just wrap it around the harness, and then boop, there you go. It's on just like that, and it not that adorable? And the great thing about these bows is if you have a short-coated breed, such as Chihuahuas, um, who don't wear the top knots in their hair, so you don't get to do the fun bow thing, this is your outlet you can put bows on their harnesses. Okay, so then we have this one, which I believe is called the Shabby Chic, 
and it's got pink lace and it's got little pearls and it's got like a light pink and isn't that adorable so cute i love it and then we got this one to go with our yellow snake and then this one has the yellow in the middle it also will go with the leopard because i wanted this done with the leopard and this was a custom bow I, um, I said, you know what, I want leopard and I want yellow, so can you mix them? And she was like, sure. So she made this one and I thought it came out so adorable. All right, next one. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? This is Tiffany. And as you can see, I love, first of all, I love the color. I've already told you guys that. I love the Tiffany blue color. I love Tiffany, that's my, my necklace that I always wear is a Tiffany necklace. My Tiffany bracelet, I love Tiffany. So who doesn't, right? Let's be real. So this one is gorgeous. It has the little crystal center, which is bling bling. And then it has a little Tiffany & Co ribbon along with the beautiful Tiffany color um, in the back. And this just, it's, it's adorable, so cute. And then I love this one. And this one is lime green and aqua, or lime green, lime, lime green and the Tiffany blue color, which always goes very, very well together. So we will wear this one on the Tiffany blue harness. And it has a little sparkly butterfly in the middle. So cute. And then the last one that I'm gonna show you is our pink leopard. And you know, two of my favorite things. I love pink, I love leopard. So put it together and to die for I love this this has a beautiful little crystal embellishment in the middle so that is great as well and it just makes such a cute cute statement when you are walking your babies to and from the groomer um, or to and from wherever or just daily walks how cute is this to have them all fancy so cute so that concludes our video on our favorite harnesses, leashes, and harness bows. Again, the harnesses and leashes come from the well-lived pet, and um, the owner of that company is Deb. She's a sweetheart, you will love her. I absolutely love her customer service, so give her a try, she is wonderful. She um, is in California, and she has very, very fast response time and very fast shipping so she'll get you what you want if you don't see what you want she does custom orders and I promise you you will you will love Deb uh, that's for the harnesses and the leashes and then check out Angel's Bows for the harness bows she's you know wonderful she has a great website and she will do just about anything her wait time is a little bit long I want to say it's about 12 weeks 8 to 12 weeks I believe so it is a little bit of a wait but she is one person and she does all of these bows handmade so you know sometimes you just have to wait so that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and Stassi wants to say bye bye everybody Thank you for watching. She's giving me kisses. All right. You want to show everyone how you walk? We're just learning. Just learning this leash stuff. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Stassi the Explorer. Okay, let's go back this way. Come on. Good girl. Whoops. What are you doing? You ready? You ready to go bye-bye? Let's go bye-bye. 
Let's go bye-bye.